So let's take a look at the tail of the tape for Gennady Golovkin against Willie Monroe Jr. You see the five-year age advantage for Monroe. From Rochester, New York, USA, the challenger, Willie El Mongo. Defending, undefeated, middleweight, champion of the world, Gennady, Triple G. Protect yourself at all times, fight hard, fight clean. Mouthpiece, mouthpiece, good luck to both of you. Golovkin wins at referee Jack Reese. Same referee who produced the stop the second round in Carson last fall. And went into the 11th round against Martin Murray. Longest tour of duty in the... Triple now he has a harder target to find. Him feeling Monroe out before he unleashes the heavy arc. Of long right jabs and slipped in a left hand. Monroe out as long as he thinks or uh, thought he was... Monroe in a rhythm at the beginning. Now open up and fire some heavy shots. And there's a hard right Daniel hand. Daniel Boone mm. knows what it is to be hit with a brick. Love can land to the short right hand inside. Terrell traps Willie Monroe against the rope. In the middle, it's a primary weapon against southpaw fighters for most conventional fighters. Most guys have landed some pretty good punches. Now he has him in a corner. Defense so far in this first round, Roy. Avoiding those shots without wasting much energy, turning his shoulder. And use his head over to two. I, I see so far Golovkin outboxing Monroe just because he's the guy coming by CompuBox count has landed twice as many punches as Monroe. Stop. Nobody punch. Step away from each other. When he dips down like this, I want to see him here. Start touching his ass a little bit. Shoot that body. Touch his body a little bit. The last two minutes of the round were mostly Golovkin offense. Or it's like a sensational second round knockout. He's not only heavy-handed, he's skillful and precise. Crowd who's an Oz at the body shot to the belt line by Golovkin. Beautiful left hook by Golovkin. <laughs> Cutting off the ring is one of Gennady's great skills. The biggest problem Mauro has is he hasn't hit Golovkin with any have free-range target practice. And when he can have free-range target practice, that's what happens. Down goes Monroe. We trapped him in the corner. Fired one Five, shot to the cheekbone, six, and down went Willie seven, Monroe. Eight, are you okay? Trying to get his legs back. His legs are going to have free range target pecs at you because he's going to catch him. Once again, traps Monroe in the corner. And Monroe's still really on his feet, and Glocker won't give him room to think. It's constantly keeping the pressure on him. Now he goes Monroe for the second time. We've got a minute three, still to go three, in round number two. Golovkin trying to max Chocolatito with a second round knockout of his own. The crowd is getting knockout artists, and they're seeing them. Golovkin's got 46 seconds oh. left in the round. Oh, good shot the by Monroe. The best shot that Monroe's landed this fight is that last. One more shot upstairs, there it is. Over here, here. Monroe showing big heart, not just, not just tying him up, don't you? Willie Monroe gets a momentary edge there as Jack Reese warned on the low blows. Look at me. Look at me. Listen to me. Breathe for me. Breathe for me. All right, relax. You good? Yeah. In the first round, I didn't mention it, but I saw it stays up, and Triple G could count it. Right combination possible because his head stays up and his like hands that. go down. Yeah, he counted the, the right hook. Really didn't see Monroe land much of anything until Triple G hurt him. Before Monroe was hurt, I don't think it's that Monroe was hitting him with anything hard. He wasn't hitting him, but he looked really good tonight. His yeah, defense is really good. He won't be in this fight low. There you go. Yeah. Uh, as I said, it's a couple of good body shots by Monroe. Golovkin has been looking to the body this round. Now throws two upstairs. Monroe getting his best offense in since Triple G hurt him. back at least. And you got to watch that left hook from Triple G because Triple G trying to set it up again. Golovkin obviously believes Monroe can't hurt him. And he may be right about it. Murray, as he showed now to the right hand, took a couple of punches from Rubio. No, but these are not pity pats he's been throwing. And ripping to the body as well as he can. And Golovkin comes back with a couple of body shots of his own. And I think that was a good body shot by Golovkin just now. Straight right hand landed for Gennady. Another straight right hand leaping in to try to get it. And Monroe actually would do better if he just sit down and fight. When he stays low, he seems to lands a second left uppercut. 
And Gennady shakes it off and comes back. Raymond is not working for you. Stop moving and fight. Monroe, 14 out of 56. And 21 of Golovkin's 24 landed punches. I got a three to nothing, 30 to 25. Gennady Golovkin. You got to give him a 10-7 round for the two knockdowns and round number two. So, you know, that gives him a real big lead on the scorecard. He has to do, Max. There's no sense in trying to pit a pat with a banger. Banger can put you down. You have to make him respect you or he'll continue to walk through your punches until he gets well, the point. The point is that Golovkin may been on the ropes and in the corner. Although Roy, as you said, now that he's... Well, he hit Gennady with a really good right hook to the body early, but he didn't follow it up. If he'd have followed it, he didn't get anything running, so he should go ahead and just take it or giving him that room to work with. Make it tough for him. The minor upset already that Monroe. throw those little punches, as we saw against Daniel Gill, oh. Gennady would walk through those little punches. Those are big shots Monroe's hitting Golovkin That's with exactly speed. right. That's exactly right. And Gennady just looked at him and told him, come on, give me a confidence taker. And he tells you to come on anyway. I don't care how few those shots Monroe just laid on Golovkin. Oh, he felt him. He just had to keep, has to keep doing the same thing. This is quite an effort Willie Monroe is putting forth here in round number four. Coming into the fight. If you let him get in the fight, he's got to make sure he doesn't get caught. He may not make it through the rest of the fight, but he certainly earned Guys, Golovkin. Guys, Gennady's head in this round. <laughs> Gennady Golovkin with seven or eight with real stuff on him. Well, he's only got six he's knockouts. Better puncher than we think he is. He just hasn't had a chance, a chance to really prove it. Round four. And on the inside, a little short, little short punch. Yeah. Set up the one you want. Okay? You okay? Let's not show how tough we are here. Let's start working. Now, I want to see the shot this way. You notice he hit him with that right hand right there. You can't go over the top with it. It's got to be this way. Golovkin was 30 of 63. And Harold Letterman gave that round to Willie Monroe. I agree with Harold. I mean, oh, uppercut lands for Golovkin. Seemed to hurt. Maybe academic, but. Oh, and that's because he's not punching. When he's punching, he gets caught every time. You can't let Golovkin just start like this. Look at the hard left hand by Monroe. I mean, Monroe is hitting where Golovkin's head is snapping and the sweat is flying. You can't let him just come at you free range or free wheel. Punch back. Golovkin lands a left hook, two straight right hands. Well, Monroe may be learning something, yeah, a better fighter, when he and lets his talent and skill take over rather than get away. Golovkin once again motioning to him like, come on, come on, keep the counter back. And that was three good punches by a um, that he didn't count a bet. I mean, it's a very big ring. Willie's got a lot of room to move if he'd stay off those ropes and stop circling along along the ropes where Gennady catches him constantly. Good one-two combination from Monroe. Up to like two dozen. And Monroe has avoided, I mean, has abandoned the body attack, but he should have. Abel Sanchez wants more activity from Golovkin, figuring it'll decrease it. But Golovkin appears to be visibly slowing down. This is where Golovkin has done damage before. Hard shot by Monroe. Fighting off the ropes now. Yeah, but those pity pat punches will get a one big shot. He's making the night work, though. Don't get it twisted. For him. Hard right hand. Throw out. And instead of really working the body, and it may have preserved Monroe's legs for this. In the last minute or so, the love can see. Deep really breath. Bro. Talk to me, Will. You doing good, brother? Yeah. You just got to keep working. You got to keep touching him, keep yeah. touching him. He's going to give you the one you want, but if you if you stop, then he's going to recover, all right? Keep close, moving your head, punch, hands punch, up, punch. and dig his fucking ass. Dig his ass. 100%. Monroe, about half as many. Golovkin took over the punch count leadership in the last round oh. again. Heard it with Straight a right hook. Cut. Right up cut hurt him really Straight bad. Right up cut hurt him really bad, and the hook just hurt him even worse. He's out of here. Third knockdown. There were two knockdowns in the Four second round, eight, and now he knocks five, him down for the third time six, here in the sixth. Seven, eight, nine, ten. His legs are you gone. You want to continue? His legs are gone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Willie Monroe says to Jack Reese, I don't want to continue. He said, I'm done. And he was. The end comes at 45 seconds in round number six. The winner by TKO victory, Gennady, Triple G.